Hello, people and bots. Grandpa Canuck here, and we are in Hearts of Iron with the Black Hearts of Iron 4 with the Black Ice mod. And today we have a tutorial for you on the Officer Corps. Now, this button right here, as you can see, is labeled Officer Corps. Well, what's this all about? <laughs> well, this is uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, your high-end military decisions and it has a lot to do with planning on the direction of what you want uh, out of your gameplay as far as what you're going to do. Are you going to be involved more with Army, Navy, Air or Air Force? Are you going to be offensive or defensive? Uh, is pride production a priority is movement a priority all these things can be tweaked using the officer core now this page is divided into several sections oh there's bonnie and clyde that's my two green sheet uh conyers they love to get in on the conversation and i'm sure they will add their comments along the way <clears throat> so across the top you have kind of the the senior officers of your uh, your military operation and then you have divided into the three branch of service right army navy air force so first of all let's look at this top part here so all these stars and colored items go with these portraits that are here. This is divided into three sections. You have what is the Supreme Commander. These four relate to your military high command. And these three are your theorists. Now, obviously, the military high command is taking on the role of the ultimate top of the military. And your choices here um, will be very, very limited. Um, I have two choices here as Germany, and you can get plus or minus items to both. Uh, you know, Hitler gives less army experience, less division, but more war support, less uh, uh, division defense, but more daily command power gain. <clears throat> daily power gain is important. I've gone with uh, this gentleman here uh, to get the uh, division speed. So 4% gaining speed to me is more important than the pluses and minuses that are here. So what are some of these things they're talking about? And what this symbol here, okay, is uh, the cost. In this case, this is political power. The other thing you're going to see used in here a lot is command power. So you must understand what political power is and how you get it <clears throat> through the focus trees and other items. Here you can see a listing of everything that's ex affecting my political power. Okay, pluses and minuses, and it gives me a base value. Okay, and my power change is 2.64 um, per day. So if I want to plan ahead how much uh, political power I'm going to use for something, this will give me an estimate of how long it'll take to gather that to do what it is. And that's used in a number of functions, decisions, etc., uh, etc. Et okay, command power. Uh, again, command power, uh, I have a, a daily game of 0.62, right, a base gain, and then various things that affect it. Okay, now, understand the difference between these and what that they're here to help you do different tasks. So, uh, in this case, it would be I need 150 political power to switch. So you can't just arbitrarily switch every few weeks. These are generally long decisions because it's taking a large amount 
of your political power. If I'm gaining 2.54 per day, that's going to take me, oh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 55 days, 55, 60 days, just to get enough to do one switch. Okay. So understand that these are big decisions. As I said, divided into three parts, the Supreme Commander. The next four are related to your military high command. These are senior decision makers, and you have a choice. Now, not every choice is always available. Some do not become available uh, through until you've done certain things on the focus tree or a time period in the game uh, or the removal or addition of that particular officer. Now here you can see this one uh, is not available because I have not completed uh, a, an item. Okay, on on the uh, on the focus, so I cannot choose Yodel uh, to uh, to have a uh, military high command position. I can choose these other ones, and they all do different things. Now, they're divided into Army, Navy, and Air Force. And that's what these three uh, stars are across the top. 2 slash 2, 0 slash 2, 2 slash 2. There's four of them. But I cannot have more than two from one branch of service. I can have a total of four. Any of two can come from either the Army, the Air, or the Navy. Okay, so you must decide which of the four priorities. And again, these are big decisions. They cost 150. The third section is your theorists. Again, it's divided into three sections. You cannot have more than two from any one section. Army, Navy, Air Force. Now, the theorists... Some of these are very, very specialized. Uh, for instance, the uh, nuclear scientist or the rocket scientist here on my Germany choices. If I'm going to develop a nuclear bomb using Germany, as soon as I want to start that research, before I start that research, I probably want this theorist selected because it's going to save 10% of my time, a tenth of the time. And considering the nuclear program is going to take five years to uh, to complete maybe eight years um, you know it would be it would be nice to to take half a year or more off of that uh, time period and that could be done by having this theorist in place now my choices here uh, are for the type of war I'm going to fight and that is personal choice on what I want to do okay so some of the reasons why I've made the choices I have here under my theorists uh, sorry under my high command I have two Air Force and two Army sorry and two Navy uh, because they give me things that I want my division recovery rate is important to me. I want to use my capital ships uh, in a campaign, and I've done that trying to land in England. So that was part of my plan as well. Submarines, obviously, uh, are a big part of interfering with trade, okay? And having armor on an attack and defense basis. So that is why I've chosen those four. If I was more dominant in Air Force, I would switch out one of these uh, uh, units for sure. Theorists, I have one that is Naval and two that are Army. So my Navy, and army are supplemented, you know, with with these items. 
Right. This one is a good, a good all-round naval trade interdictions, uh, submarine doctrine increase, naval doctrine increase, and naval experience gain. And both of these give army experience gain. All right. But uh, Gadarian, you know, is giving me speed, breakthrough, soft attack, and hard attack for armor. <clears throat> As I mentioned, armor is a big part of my German operation. Right. And this one is giving mobile warfare doctrine gain. Okay, and you know, I could replace him at some point if I'm not wanting to save that 10% of time in mobile warfare doctrine. Okay, let's move down to these three sections here. They're divided into Army, Navy, and Air Force. On the left, you have uh, who is the commander of your uh, branch of service. So here I have Ludwig Be uh, Beck. I've kept Beck uh, simply because I like the division organization. Uh, there's actually a decision that pops up about replacing him at some point in the game, and you lose political points, and I chose to lose the political points and keep Beck rather than replace him with one of these others. Right? And again here, you can see there's a time frame where I cannot use Guderian in this position until after uh, January uh, first at uh, 1943. Okay, So these are all personal decisions for how you want to fight the war. You must have a uh, chief of the army be before you can put in uh, these other three items. Okay, And one is called the um, Spirit Overview, okay, Spirit of the Academy, Spirit of the Army, Spirit of Division Command. So I have chosen here the School of Supply and Logistics, okay, and I've chosen that uh, because I'm concerned about a large, far-reaching empire uh, that, that I have and the uh, divisional supplies, having more time and more range, uh, is an important part of how I run my current campaign. Okay. Now these items, as you can see, take into use the experience. So I cannot change these if I don't have a hundred army experience. And I don't, so I couldn't change it at this time. Okay? So as you gain the experience, this is one of the things it can be used for in the officer corps. Uh, I've also have gone with the prof professional. Now, not all of these can be used. As you scroll over them, you'll see you have to have certain texts or certain other things to, uh, to, to make them happen, okay? I have to have elite forces if I'm going to use tip of the spear, which is something that is uh, uh, down here, right? Elite standards, elite officer training, okay? So it can be related to other parts that are stopping you from doing the, the items that are here. And here I have chosen the logistical focus again. Uh, my army having good logistics is very, very important. So supply consumption down and supply range plus five. Important. Professional with logistics. That's my army. Professional with logistics. <laughs> uh, similarly, my Navy, I have not gained enough naval experience to really put these positions into place as much as I want. So I still have some decisions to get when I have experience to spare. I've been using my experience for building new models of ships. 
um, for uh, gaining traits for my officers, okay, which is uh, when a little symbol comes up on the bottom left-hand side uh, here, and you can click on them, and they can uh, gain the traits, okay? And this would, this would take me 15 of the command power to do. So this is one place where naval-wise... I just can't seem to gain enough enough experience, uh, naval experience. Air Force, uh, again, I, I've chosen a air superiority bonus in combat because getting control of the sky is more important to me than these other items, okay? Overcoming bad weather and air, just air experience gain. I have tons of air experience air experience game the way that I play so it's more important for me to go with the uh, air superiority and the items I go here with with the spirits okay uh, spirit of the Air Force and spirit of the Air Force command as you can see some of them are darkened I can't choose them for a particular reason, right? I do not have force rotation. I do not have the tech air superiority. So if you're going to use those, you have to plan ahead to get those items. Now under each of these symbols is a bunch of boxes with uh, red, green, and, uh, and yellow. And this is adding up, showing you the additive effects of something that's affecting your Army, Navy, or Air Force. So just reading over these, you can see uh, I have an effect of, uh, you know, a land, night, uh, land night attacks. Okay, my division speed okay, is 31% higher than normal. My planning speed is 147%. Uh, my max planning base value is 20%, and that's all. Uh, the entrenchment speed is 100, so it's kind of standard normal. Yellow is neutral, green is up, red, red is you know, kind of down. Uh, max entrenchment, okay, experience soldier loss. Now, all these things have effects and they're caused by decisions that you're making and this is just a synopsis that uh, sorry it's a review of uh, everything put together so you, you you can see what's affecting it and what you would have to alter but this is affecting your entire army or navy or air force and you can see what is you know going well Okay, I, I lose 30% less uh, while moving. That's important to me. My division supplies are actually um, uh, 360 hours. So that is 12, uh, 12 days. So I know if I get in a situation and my supplies are cut off, I have 12 days to totally rectify that situation from a zero uh, standpoint. And that's important to me. Okay, division attrition, supply consumption, uh, reinforcement rate is actually increased by 8%. Uh, air superiority bonus in combat. So if I have air superiority, okay, I get a bonus in combat of 38%. Hmm, there might be a reason why I'm trying to get air superiority in southeast England. Oh yes, I want to take out London and crush the English. So get that plus 38 percent in combat. Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> so you know therefore uh, if I have air superiority in a location and this is an indicator just telling me you know uh, that. So I have worked out various things and this is giving me the synopsis. 
I can go over the same sort of things with the, uh, the Air Force and the Navy as well. Now, the other things that are here is items that you can click on and you can see all of your uh, admirals or generals. Okay. And you can promote a general to a field marshal, and you can see their details, etc. And you can search through for various things. This is handy to, uh, to go through. Okay. And you can sort on different uh, levels through that. Skill, top to bottom, bottom to top, do it on name. Etc. So different ways of, of going through this, and of course, if somebody's in use, they're going to be like this, with the hash marks through them. So that just tells you who's available and who's not. Okay. When you look at an officer, you bring up their details. Ah, here's one of my favorites, Rommel. Rommel's been having a decent war. He's up to a level seven. And the bigger the, the points, the more chances uh, you have of increasing skills and the more of these traits that you're going to get. And I can see a breakdown of him, of all his pluses and minuses that he brings to the table as being a good officer. So the higher the number, the more traits, Okay, the more traits, the more skills, plus you have some natural selection uh, through here as, uh, uh, as, as well. Okay. Here you can see, this is under Rommel's command. Okay, and here you can see this individual unit has an officer. Okay. Notice there's a promote button here as well. If he has enough command power, if I have enough command power, I can promote one of my divisional officers to being one of my generals. Okay, this is all part of the, uh, uh, the officer corps as 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 well so different ways of looking at it all this information adds up uh, to how you are running your army and it's going to be different possibly on every playthrough it's going to be different in uh, uh, in every every single way that you uh, that you play the game you play the game differently and you're going to have different choices every time Now, the other thing that does come into play that I consider this, and I'll go into more detail another time, is the officers here on the pilots. Okay. Uh, these are aces, and you can assign aces to specific units. I consider them as officers in a way because they do have an effect, but th that will be covered in more detail in a... Uh, another tutorial. Okay. The uh, uh, officers, as I said, you know, can be promoted out and up to become one of the uh, so selectable officers. Okay. So if I don't have someone with the right skills, I might have somebody in the wings who's, um, 
getting ready to be promoted to 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 come up from the up from up through the ranks I guess is a good way of uh, of putting it now there's one last item down here called officers and this gives you all of the division commanders that have experience in some level okay now you can sort this in a number of ways by experience or citation now once they have enough experience uh, they can get promoted up but the other thing in here is the ability to grant them a citation okay so you, when you click on the details right you get information on this officer and it tells you what he has done okay so let's just uh, this is the highest amount of experience with an officer who I could grant a citation Okay, uh, seized the airfields at uh, Inverness in August uh, 9th, 1941. In July 22nd, 1941, he was the first onto the beaches in the landing at Rysoff. Okay, which was the invasion of England. Okay, uh, June 26, 1939, he seized the airfields at, uh, at Bursa. And December 12th, 1938, he seized uh, 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 this, this, this location from the Yugoslavian forces. So that gave him items. Now you can see as the list goes up, once he's done enough, he's been available for a citation since this time. Okay. And every officer has the same sort of thing has the uh, the awards that you can give them okay and what do you want this unit to do this division okay Let's, as it says right click and it shows me where the division is right here okay and I could award him a medal and it would change that unit's and just that unit's ability to do something. Armor breakthrough, supply consumption, division speed, division organization. Okay. And if you want to know, oh, So this is giving you the unit details, okay. but it's also giving you information on this officer, okay, and ways that I can grant a citation, give him a medal, okay, and what that is going to do to the individual unit. So if you have a particular unit you've been following, like this one, Okay, I can see here's the officer. You know, I can't promote him, but you know, I could uh, uh, I could look through my um, officer list, and if he happened to be on it, oh look. There he is. I knew he was on the list. Okay, he's the second one down. So this is uh, the second Panzer Division, which is one of my most elite units. And it's one of my original Panzer Divisions. Okay. And as you can see, you know, it seized airfields in 1937.
liberated Sarajevo, uh, seized airfields in Gallipoli, took part in the siege of uh, the siege of Rotterdam, took part in the siege of uh, Malmo, seized airfields, right, secured Bristol from the British forces. So that was a, a major a major victory. <laughs> so you can see what this officer has been involved with. And does he deserve that citation? And how do I want to better this unit? Okay. And what do I want it to do? So, you know, less, whichever one of the four. Okay. What do we do? Give him the Iron Cross Second Class awarded for action in Rossite. There we go. So now that unit will have a higher organization level. Let's just find another armor unit here. It's 12. But this guy, because I promoted the officer, He's 14. Oh, there we go. Okay, so those are all things you can do with the Officer Corps. It all involves around your political power, your command power. It does take into effect a little bit of your experience. It's all interrelated. It all comes together here to give you totals, okay? And you get an overview of your high command of your armed forces. This has been Grant Canuck, and if you have any questions about this tutorial, please type them out. And if you can give me a time frame in the, in the video, it might be easier to answer the question if it's pertinent to something at an exact time that I'm talking about. So until next time, this is Grandpa Canuck signing off. All you people and bots, be good to one another. Take care. Bye-bye.